The Midas Sword. When first released back in July of 2019, it was the strongest weapon in the game. But there was a bit of a catch. The sword does more damage the more coins you spend on it, so if you want the best possible weapon, it would cost you 50 million coins. Which, back in the beginning of Skyblock, only a handful of people were that rich. And luckily, my co-op was one of them. We achieved this by farming Ember Rods, an early game weapon dropped exclusively from the Magma Boss. Obtaining this drop was a dream for most, but not for us. Our strategy revolutionized the way Magma Bosses were farmed, and was only put to rest due to a rework on how boss loot was distributed. Just to paint a picture, you're sitting here for hours waiting for the Magma Boss to spawn, accompanied by 10 other players with the same objective. Only one Ember Rod drops per boss, so you have to act quick. A single moment of hesitation could cost you hours of your life. Then there's me. I only got here a few minutes ago, but no one sees me as a threat. They think I'm an idiot that's just gonna get one-tapped. So, the boss spawns, it dies instantly, I nab all the loot, completely uncontested. I mean, no one even moved off this hill. Between me and my co-op, we were pulling in around 15 Ember Rods per day and then quickly turning around and selling them for 250k each. Do this for a few weeks and it adds up pretty quick. Fast forward to when the Dark Auction was released and I was first showed the Midas Sword. I knew immediately that I wanted to be the first insane person to spend 50 million coins on one. And so on August 21st, 2019, I bought one of the first Midas Swords on the server. Now, I actually would have been the first. I had the coins ready, I had permission from my co-op, but there was a slight hiccup that delayed me buying it. And in the time it took to get the money back, four people went out and bought one before me. But I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take being the fifth person to maximize a sword. <laughs> I'm not mad at all. Now, at the time, this was a pretty big deal. Almost no one knew how good the Midas Sword actually was, everyone just kind of saw it as a waste of money. But it wasn't until I posted my video on it that people really understood how powerful this sword was. So, back in my old guild, there were special roles for people with super rare high tier items, and owning a Midas Sword was on the top of that list. In a guild full of Skyblock sweats, I was the only person on top with a Midas, I, I, I felt like a king. But that feeling wouldn't last long. Over the weeks, as more and more people started to get a Midas sword of their own, the role became a bit too cluttered. So the role was removed and the guild requirements were changed, where if you didn't have a 50 mil Midas, you couldn't even be in the guild. Now, it's one thing when a group of Skyblock no lives each have a Midas sword of their own, but they became so common that you would join a random hub and half the lobby would have one. You check the auction house and there's just pages and pages of them being sold. You could even go to the deep caverns and Anon in lapis armor would just be slain away at the weakest mobs in the game, using a 50 mil Midas. But the real nail in the coffin was the Indu Dragon Pet, which when max, it buffs the strength and damage of the AOTD. And with these new perks, the aspect of the dragons has taken the throne of being the strongest weapon in Skyblock. But even after getting a dragon pet of my own, I still continued to use the Midas Sword. You see, while the Midas Sword might be slightly weaker, it still holds a special place in my heart. The video I made on it blew up, and it's what pushed my channel to over 100,000 subscribers, so I thought since the Midas has done so much for me, it's time to return that favor. So the plan today is to spend 1 billion coins on the Midas Sword, but because I don't want to be kicked from my co-op for wasting all of our money, I decided to host a contraband stream back when those were still allowed, and I took donations to put towards this video. So real quick, I want to thank BuilderCop, Nathan, Kotech, Lumini Ducky, Rob, Skepcat, and Time Times for sponsoring this video. I'm sorry I can't read out everyone's name, there's just way too many, but I, I, I still appreciate you all for the donations. So before I spend a bill on a Midas, there's one thing I've been curious of for well over a year. What is the most money you can bid on a single item at the Dark Auction? Now, I was speaking to Pigacle about this, and he mentioned that a 450 mil bid was the highest that you could go. Now, I'm going in here praying that he's wrong. I don't know where he got that number from, but it would mess up the whole video if he's right. Midas, maybe? Midas, please? Jellyfish. <laughs> Three, two, I'm AFK. one. I have signed up. Nice. Oh, I will twerk for him. Jelly, <laughs> jelly, leg. This is the second time I've got leg jellyfish in a row. Another leg jellyfish, dude. That's three in a row. All right. Just woke up. First dark auction of the day. Can we? Can it have a Midas? Come on. It's a jellyfish. Damn. <laughs> jellyfish again. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna let someone bid the 50 mil. <laughs> Alright, th this guy's gonna bid the 50 mil in the Midas. And then I'm just gonna go as high as I possibly can. He's gonna do this. Alright, I'm gonna wait till one second. He thinks he's safe. He thinks he's safe. He's not safe. 
He's not safe. Not at all. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> 300 mil. 385 mil. 485. 6 mil. Or 60. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you did choose the price. Right here, one billion. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so bad with money. Ah, uh, it's been done. The 1 billion coin Midas sword. Now, sadly, I wasn't able to get the highest bid possible. It would have just let me keep going. But thankfully, on the Alpha Network, where you literally have infinite money, there were several dark auctions hosted. And all the items were going for 2.1 billion, which I believe is the 32-bit integer limit. If you were to try to bid beyond that, the number was a negative, and it wouldn't let you place the bid. Anyway, let's go enchant this thing. Alright, I applied all the basic enchants, but there's still a few things missing. The first one being the Midas Jewel, which has a 1 in 100 chance to drop from the Midas King inside of a dungeon. Oh! It's used to apply the Gilded Reforge onto your weapon, boosting the strength and damage by 75. But it also has the ability to give coins to nearby players upon killing a mob. Now, normally it only gives a handful of coins, no more than a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand if you're lucky. But there's a 1 in 100,000 chance that someone can get up to 50 million coins just by standing around you when you kill a mob. And you get absolutely none of that. But that's okay, because I spent 15 million coins on Scavenger 5, which gives me 1.5 coins per kill. Meaning I'd have to kill 10 million mobs just to break even. I'm also throwing on Combo 5, since it deals more damage if I chain kills, and Venomous, because I, I kind of forgot to add it earlier. Last thing I have to do is recombobulate it so that the Reforgers get buffed slightly, and bam. Completely maxed 1 billion coin Midas Sword. Not to flex, but I now own the most expensive and cheapest Midas Swords on the server. A 1 billion coin, and a 1 coin Midas. Also, don't ask how I got this, it, it's not important. One funny thing I found is that this sword probably cost around 1.1, 1.2 billion to make, but the most the shopkeeper can offer me for this is 27,000. Now, let's do a damage comparison between a 1 bill Emerald Blade and a 1 bill Midas. I'm totally not using this as an excuse to go and waste money on dragons. Aw, oh, dude, you're in- Dude, if y'all damage me, no! Dude, you have a 5 bill emerald blade. You're fine. Dude, I'm- I'm trash. I don't know how to do that. You oh my god. You have a 5 billion emerald blade. You dude. are fine. Okay, look, chat, chat, look. If time deal, I'll damage me, chat, look. I'm just saying. No, dude, I keep losing rem so fast. Oh no, dude, I put this the wrong way. No, chat. It's a straw. Hey, straw. Oh, you, yeah, you're out damaging me, dude, 100%. What do you mean? Okay. I've only done 1.3 mil. Oh, dude, I'm at 100k. I didn't get the pre fire, <laughs> bro. What do you mean, only 1.3 mil? Okay. Dude, you're, I'm. Dude, I, you're gonna completely shred it. Dude, I'm hoping, man. Like, if it doesn't. Okay, Dio, you're, you're a truck. <laughs> I, I hear your mouse clicks, man. What I do? You all damage me, you freaking nerd! <laughs> okay, okay, chat, chat, no, 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 no. Chat, don't mind, Dio was just trolling, boys. He's not actually that good. <laughs> and it's I an old. I didn't even pre fire, bro. <laughs> what is that? Oh, dude, I'm dumb, dude. I didn't even get that, dude. <laughs> I'm messing up so much, bro. What oh, it stopped again. Oh, uh, I threw. I threw as well. Oh, all my mana's gone. Yeah, chat. I chat, lost. A, I got fireballed twice. I, I'm at 14k damage, dude. I'm at 14k <laughs> damage, chat. Oops. Oh. How much damage did you do? You weren't even top three. Just, just, dude, just shut up. Just, shut up. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> How much did you do? I did one mil. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yep. Pre-fire like the sweat I am. 
And we got an old dragon. Huge. Boomer drag. Boomer dragon. I can't even see it. I'm just shooting it. I'm not milling. Okay, well, the goal for this was to not out damage myself, but I've already got 5.5 mil damage. When will he stop? <laughs> He's charging straight at me. I got a- I got an obsidian! <laughs> <laughs> the drag bad incoming, come on. <laughs> I will literally cry. Watch me get in. Dio, you're gonna get it. I'm you're gonna get it. To look oh Almost beat God. the damage. I'm, no way. Stop. Absolutely no way, dude. I got some old uh, dragon leggings. I got the pet! Okay. <laughs> Chin places nothing against the pet! So that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm getting back into the swing of making videos again, so expect another one soon. But in the meantime, you can watch this video where I found a way to break Skyblock and cheese my way to max skills. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.